Peggy 18. What are you worried about, miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. We love beautiful rooms, we love relationships, we love lovely environments, but we're here for the scares. Give me an idea of how scary this is going to get. I've been screaming a lot the last <laughs> few days and I think it's definitely scary <laughs> and gruesome and I wouldn't do it while having your back door open. That's all I would say. <laughs> that makes sense. And ever so quickly, I do want to ask you about the screams because I've found, not that I've tried to do pretend screams all that often, but you really need to be scared to get that proper scary high-pitched noise out, right? The actual scream sound. How? How? How, how do you do how that do on demand? Scared? Yeah. I don't know, I just do it. I just finished a, a horror film and I was so scared all the time that any time my fella came into a room in our house, I was just screaming. <laughs> so I think I have a kind of accessibility to, to fear. Maybe you do. <laughs> just off the back of one. <laughs> it's me, get in here. Talking about Kate a bit more, She's a presenter. Anyway, She's kind of plucky, I hear. Have you ever done any presenting work yourself? God, no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what if it's a hidden talent? Oh, I really think it's not. No, I, I know it's not. <laughs> I think I'd be probably asked to present a kind of local horticultural kind of leeks festival or something. <laughs> Anything beyond that <laughs> is not possible. <laughs> but it's so wholesome, <laughs> which is good. You know, you do it in your own I'm in your own realms. I'm happy to present a leek festival, to be honest. Although, do I like leeks? <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. Just let me know about the leek festival. I'm all over it. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Oh, stop trying to make me like you. What would you say you're most excited about when it comes to players actually getting the game in their hands and sitting down with it and playing themselves? I guess what's been so fun for me is that having these genuine relationships which are complex and move up and down and I guess for the player, they get to choose which way they want these relationships to mm -hmm. go in some way. So that is fun. And also the detail and work and the scope of the world that the Supermassive game crew have created is so astonishing. It is genuinely blown my mind. Like the detail, what they put into making just one room look a certain mm. way. And there's loads of surprises as well. Like you think the house is one thing and then you open another door and it's a completely different thing. So it's really exciting. Yeah, they're incredibly good at that. You know, really feeling like you're in that atmosphere that yeah. is, you know, every particle is real and touchable. and, and Totally. Right there. Yeah. Very cool. You guys, look at this. So as the owner of the best scream, that's what I've heard, um, <laughs> how easily scared are you? And when it comes to horror games, horror characters, horror films, what's your favorite of the bunch? I am terrified of horror films. The last one I watched, I think, was when I was probably about nine. Halloween, my dad put on The Mothman Prophecy. Oh my gosh, And yeah. it was a Halloween party and we lived at the end of a wood in Ireland and I was with all my mates and he'd stopped the film halfway through, bundled us all into a car, drove us up to the wood and left us there and then <gasps> went back down and then ran off through the woods and scared the life out of us. So that's the last time I watched a horror film. I like your dad. He was preparing <laughs> you for life with that. He was getting you ready for the roller coaster. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Kate. Okay. Quit fucking around, what are you trying to do? Not die? Okay, we're gonna head into quick fire. Go so, on. run away, stand and fight. Stand and fight for five minutes and then run away. <laughs> Good choice. Hide or run? Eh. Uh, run, run, mm -hmm. run. Keep going, run. good chat. Uh, would you explore on your own or in a group? On my own. Yeah, I think in a group makes it worse sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Ghost ship, haunted village, buried underground, trapped in a murder house. Oh my God. A ghost ship. Ooh. Ooh, okay. And then would you save yourself or save the others? This is for force majeure, isn't it? This is <laughs> um, I would... I don't know, man. Like, we all want to say <laughs> I'd save the others, but probably when you get to it, you'd want to save yourself as well. <laughs> of course. Self-preservation has to kick be in. Honest here. And if anything horrible happens to them, then it's a situation of I had to make sure I was safe before yeah. I could get to them and it was too late. It was a horrible, horrible situation. I can't answer that. Okay, finally, playing the hero, playing the villain. 
killing. Nice. <laughs> nice. I was hoping you'd end it there. <laughs> Rot in hell. Asshole. Jesse, thank you so much for taking the time to sit and talk with us and, and going through COVID tests and, and, and makeup and, and mocap <laughs> and everything else that's to come. So thank you. Um, and thank you for joining us. And make sure you're keeping an eye on all things Supermassive for more information on the upcoming next installment of the Dark Pictures anthology. I take back all the times I called you bitch face. You're my fucking hero, okay? I figured if I let you die, you, you'd haunt me. You're not wrong.